Man, we're rolling, Mitchie. We're rolling. Oh, what's up, bud? It's unbelievable. N- not much, not much, man. I-, I asked you for a little bit extra uh, time here. Yeah. So I could change my setup. You like that? Core power. Hey, no fade. Not no, a- no, no free advertisements. No free advertisements. Good stuff, though. It's good stuff. No free shout outs, Mitchie. Come on. How, how else are we supposed to land mega lucrative advertising deals if we just give it, give it away for free, huh? Well, we already do have a mega lucrative advertising deal with Dave over at Fine Line Sports. Let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Right away. Huh? No, no gimmicks. The guy is legit. He's by his word. Um, there, there was even a a bonus structure negotiated that, of course, we won't go into detail on. Uh, we don't want to, you know, s- discuss that. But the point of bringing this up is this is a bonus structure that, honestly, I probably would not have caught. Right? I probably wouldn't have realized. Oh, we're up. We're up for that bonus that we talked about. Uh, but Dave, man of his word, followed through on it without it, without even thinking twice. He's that type of guy. Um, he's the exact opposite of what you would get from joining a place like a my bookie. Um, yeah. You get reliability. You get your money out when you need it. You get tons of different options when it comes to live betting. You got a casino that, as I detailed in the blog over on ng2gens.com, under my I Hate Blackjack blog. Great blog. I said that kind of tongue-in-cheek because it's a heck of a lot of fun. And there's plenty of other games that you can just sit there like a monkey and press a button, and then it updates, and you win money in your account. So Mm -hmm. go check it out, Blind Line Sports. Welcome to AQT with Mitchie Steves. Notice how rattled Anthony is as I have done a little bit of an intro and an ad read. And he's like, wait, I thought I was supposed to be talking. What's happening here? Um, we're really excited to kick this thing off with Zlatan Ibrahimovic and LeBron James. Okay, so Zlatan uh, was in the news for some comments that he made about LeBron. Anthony, go ahead with an AQT. First and foremost, I need you to say something nice about me because this show is about me. I'm an emotionally fragile person. I need to hear some compliments because the show is not about Anthony right now. And that's just unacceptable, Mitchie. Yeah, that's a great chain. So what do you think about Zlatan and... This is bullshit. Uh, Let's talk about Zlatan. uh, The soccer player that I know a ton about. I know a ton about soccer. Part of the uh, MLS. Huh? Is that soccer? Yeah. Nice. What do you think yeah. about his comments that he made about LeBron? <clears throat> I don't know. Didn't he just be like, didn't he say like basically the equivalent of like all 42 year old white guys named Keith, like you shut up and dribble. Didn't he like say the equivalent of that? Like as an athlete though, or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Essentially he did. And uh, so, so basically what, he said he was being interviewed, I believe, on a show in Sweden. And he basically said, you know, I don't think it's a good idea for somebody that has big time status in sports or whatever uh, to weigh in on politics and to get involved. Now, he just doesn't think there's I think there's, there's a lot of bad that can come from it. Um, I, I don't have any issue with people that that disagree with him. Right. I don't have any issue with somebody that would say. Dude, I mean, I think you should be able to talk about whatever you want to, right? It doesn't matter if you're a professional in one area. If you have an opinion and it's not something important, then you can talk about it. Uh, I 100% agree with that. Here was my issue. Ooh. The ball, the amount, and I am a LeBron James fan. I root for him. I don't have a team in the NBA, and I do. Now, there's some situations where I might root for someone else. It depends on who he might be playing. But for the most part, I, throughout his career, I've rooted for him to win championships. Um, it, the thing is though, I mean, the amount of ball washing that goes on with LeBron James from ESPN to, to his super fans is, is unbelievable. I mean, Zlatan literally, I don't need, didn't need the sound effects there. Um, but Zlatan literally said, Hey, I, I don't think you should talk about politics. You're, you're not a professional politician. You're a professional basketball player. I personally even think there's nothing wrong with the comments. I don't fully agree though. I'm like, Hey, you know what? the guy wants to talk about it, he can talk about it. That's up to him. I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with the thought of like, Hey, if you say something about this topic, that's so polarizing, you're going to get some backlash, which LeBron does. Um, But people jumped from, you shouldn't say anything about politics 
to you're a horrible person <laughs> and you don't do anything for your community. I mean, if you if you saw that ESPN article, it, it's incredible, right? They're like, hey, oh, really? Oh yeah, he should stick to basketball. Well, he's got a school with 350 kids that depend on him to feed them. That's amazing. He's an awesome guy. I don't get how we get so angry. Like, like we just jumped, right? LeBron, I mean, and of course, LeBron is going to, as much as I love, you know, he's going to, he's going to eat it up. You know, you know, I'm never going to just, you know, stick to basketball. I'm never going to, I'm never going to just shut up and dribble. And it's like, dude, I don't even think like if you, if you know, the history of Zlatan, he does not care. He just says whatever. This is the most tame thing that he has ever said about anybody ever. They, they brought up a guy, they brought up another uh, soccer player one time when he was being interviewed. And he said, my nose is longer than that kid's career. He sucks. There was a female reporter that asked him, there were rumors that he was gay. They asked if he was gay. He said, how about you and your friend come back to my, uh, my place with me? I'll show you how, how not gay I am. I mean, this guy does not care. He'll say anything. And he says, yeah, I don't think LeBron should talk about politics. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody's triggered. I mean, it, it was... It was wild. It was wild to see people make those make those jumps. Disgusting. Anthony, any, any other thoughts on that? Yeah. Well, you know, if I could just rebut, uh, you know, after that, that that those opening comments, that was a, I think that was a solid. Uh, I think the show was. I think we're halfway done with our. Well, we're ten minutes in already, Mitchy. That was uh, that was awesome. Uh, yeah. No. No. I don't. I don't really have a ton of comments. So, pretty. Uh, there he goes. There he goes. The guy's just a natural born quitter. The guy just gives up. Unbelievable. This guy gives up on his community too. I bet. But no, I mean, uh, first of all, I want to commend your impersonation of LeBron James. You just did black, fo black voice, black voice, uh, which uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get canceled now. So thanks for that. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Dude, like, here, look, I, I think LeBron is an awesome guy. I'm just going to cut you right back off. That was a good quick take by you. You said nothing. You're supposed to do quick takes. <laughs> uh, but look, LeBron, I mean, he, he is He's amazing. I mean, he, he he's obviously has a ton, a ton of, uh, you know, talent, right? A ton, ton of God-given talent, but at the same time, the, the work ethic, the, the way that he has been, you know, all this hype for him since he, the guy was like, what, I don't even know when it started. Was he eight years old? I mean, he was 16 on ESPN and they're like, this guy's the chosen one. He's the best ever. And he's been that. Um, I, you know, so I, I just, I like so many things about him. It's just so annoying. I actually liken it to Steph Curry a little bit, uh, where big cat would talk about this, where Steph Curry is so likable and so good, but the people like the fans, especially when he, I mean, he's played unbelievable this year. I'm sure you, you're a big basketball guy. I'm sure you've been following. He's been unbelievable this season. Um, but like at his height, when he first, you know, started just dominating and doing ridiculous things and changing the game. Uh, it, the fans just were a little over the top. I mean, people were, oh my God, look at his dribbling drills. I can't believe, like, oh my gosh, all these things he does pregame. It's so cool. Like, like, yeah, it is. But like, you guys are a little much. Like, calm down. It's the same thing with LeBron. Yeah. But know. anyway, let's transition over to the Drew. Breeze. Good thoughts. Yeah, I think appreciate it. Appreciate it. I think it's, Anthony. I think, hey. I think, I think it's, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a non-issue. Yeah, non I appreciate it. It's a non-issue. You actually did freeze. No, you're freezing. <laughs> you shitty internet. Oh, I'm dang it. I almost got the in. I'm hardwired in. You've been freezing and glitching this entire meeting, this entire time, Mitchie. This guy, this guy's entire yeah, fucking, man. this guy's entire fucking database lives or dies whether or not his phone is connected to Wi-Fi. Tell this guy they fucking grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking That's money. actually a... Uh... A fair point. But anyway, Drew Brees. So Drew Brees is um, work. There's a video of him working out in the driveway. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of thoughts on, on this one. I did come fresh up. I, I will, you know, fully not pardon my take. Great show. I do listen to a lot of them. I don't always um, before we record the show, get a chance to listen. I did get a chance to listen like 15 minutes. I heard a few of their thoughts on it. Full disclosure, right? I don't want to be stealing too much, but everybody kind of plucks here and there. I know, I know, I shouldn't say. But uh, Anthony, quick takes, AQT thoughts on Drew Brees? No, this is the morning after a AQT with Mitchy C is on Fridays. Mitchy, tell the folks at home what the difference is. But anyways, uh, AQ, I'll give you, I'll give you a little, I'll give you a taste of AQT though. Uh, I don't know. I think this is a, uh, you know, I, I has he confirmed that he's coming back for the twenty twenty one season yet? Is it like, is he actually confirmed it? 
So no, no. So where he where where he is is that he hasn't said one way or the other. <clears throat> so I think the guy is just a fucking. He's just a crazy guy who's, uh, I mean, to be a professional football player, you kind of have to be fucking a crazy guy uh, who just pushes weights in your driveway, right? Just because, like, that's what you want to do. And he's probably messing, playing with the kids and the neighbor, I guess the neighbor came over. I don't know. It didn't really seem like, like that just kind of seems like the thing that Drew Brees does. Just pushes shit and plays with his kids and has fun and play, does stupid stuff in his driveway. But I think it was, like, his neighbor or, like, a friend that was, like, Wow, he never does this. He's real cray cray today. I wonder what this means. Dot dot dot. Hashtag make me famous by putting this everywhere. Like, I I think it's kind of a non-story. I mean, if you if you watched a single Drew Brees game last year after his rib injury, the guy's done. The guy. I mean, the guy. I would love to see him come back. I would love to see Drew come back. Maybe maybe he came back from that injury a little bit too quickly. I think he might be able to do one more year. I think it might be a little ugly. I think it might be a little bit sad. Uh, but I think this is kind of a non-story until we hear something from his mouth. I think it's just some crazy guy pushing weights in that driveway. I think it's for exactly that. I, I, I agree with a lot of what you said. I think for that exact reason, what you, what you wrapped up with, why it's actually kind of an important story, not necessarily the specific, oh my gosh, he's in the driveway. Um, there is something to that. I mean, the, the type of lifting that he was doing after how badly his body was beaten up, um, I don't know if that's something that you're just like, you break a thousand ribs and then a couple months later, you're like, huh, haven't, haven't picked up the weights in a while. Let's do some CrossFit. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like that was something that didn't quite add up to me, but to your point of where you're like, oh, he could maybe do one more year. I agree with you. Oh, it might be a little sad and not the best. I agree with you. That's where this becomes a big story. I don't think he's coming back. Um, because of the, that's exactly what happened last year was they had a really, really good team and he was not good. Like he, like, you know, he just couldn't, he wasn't the same as what, what he was. I wouldn't necessarily say he's a crazy guy, by the way. I mean, yeah, okay. You could, you gotta be a little crazy to play in the NFL maybe, but like, he's not, he's not a pretty level-headed guy, right? Do you know what he's done for that community? Anyway, for, for Drew Brees, I think that it's just such a weird spot because the saints don't want him to come back. They can't afford to have him back, Mitchie. That's why I'm saying he should stay out because if he comes back, he's going to be like, you know, Joe Montana. on the. Okay, Cap Space Anthony, explain this to me. I'm not saying you're wrong. You know more about Cap Space Anthony. There's $70 million over the cap, and Drew Brees is going to command at least $1 million. What you're saying to me, I'm not saying it's it's the same thing. What you're saying to me is almost equivalent to someone saying, the United States has $585 trillion in debt. Well, it's like, well, how are we all just having stuff and and buying stuff? I, I don't understand it. But, oh, my God, we're so far in debt, we're just going to keep going further. So when you say there's $70 million over the cap, so Dude. you can you, – you're allowed to go over the cap, one. Let me finish AQT. This is the worst AQT you cut me you've off. ever done. And it is AQT. Exactly, because I get to talk more on this show. Anyway, it's AQT. So this is the morning after. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. Mon- it's, morning. it's Monday. It's blog. Monday. It's the morning after. Read, read the blog. Read the blog. Anyway, it's AQT. It's AQT. It's AQT. You like that? Stole your shtick right there. I did. Anyway, That's look, seventy million dollars over the cap. Fine. Can't afford to bring like. So would he be willing to take a pay cut potentially to come back one year? My other part of that is how are they trying to get like how are they actively trying to get Russell Wilson if they're so far over the cap? Oh, good. We're gonna vacuum outside the apartment. Well, okay, so what it means is when they're that high over the cap, that means they have to cut players to lower salaries and they got to restructure deals. So I'm not saying they can't afford him, but the guy's probably going to command, I don't know, what did Philip Rivers take last year for the Colts? Like one year? Do you mean demand? Huh? Do you mean demand? Command? What did I say? You said command. Yeah, but he's going to command of 17. Yeah, not, that's what I, I said that word intentionally. Okay. There I think it's term. demand. It's no, not demand. Like demand is like, I demand 17. It's like him commanding 17 million is like, Oh, I'm like, I'm Drew Brees. Like it's, it's an un, like, I'm, I'm going to get set. You know, I'm, that's what you don't know what you're talking about. Mitchie. I know words. I know big words. What did Philip Rivers get paid last year? Like one year, 17 mil, I think something like that. Well, no, point is, Drew Brees would get around that same neighborhood for on a one year deal. 
Uh, so, I mean, they might be going after Russell Wilson because there might be some sort of big player trade coming up. Um, maybe like they send a Cameron Jordan uh, out. I don't know. Whole point is if they bring back Drew Brees for one year, 20 mil, whatever, they're going to have to give rid of so much expensive talent. So then we're going to have fragile, broken little Drew Brees with a broken, shitty Saints roster. It's just going to be sad. So it's either going to be that situation or another team signs him. And then we're going to have like the fucking, like, you know, we're going to have like the, it was weird seeing Philip Rivers in a Colt uniform. It's weird seeing those long time, 10, 15 year quarterbacks in another season for one fucking year, right? We're going to see him in a fucking Panthers uniform or something. Right? I don't want to see that. I think the guy should just go off peacefully into the sunset. That being said, I do kind of want to see him come back next day. That'd be pretty sick. That'd be pretty cool. So I don't know. You think he would go to another team? I, like, I don't get another team taking him after that. After that, how that last season went. Brett Favre. But you know something that we didn't get to? What are, you, what are your thoughts on, on uh, Watson? Where do you think he's going to go? Yeah, I don't know if we've covered Watson yet on this show, Mitchie. Um, we're talking about the trade scenario coming up here? I'm talking about it seems like he and that entire organization are not getting along. Yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like they're kind of at a standstill. They're button heads, Mitchy, right? It seems like uh, he wants. Yeah. To so where do you think he's going to go ultimately? Where do you want him to go? You know, I, I'm thinking here at this point. You know, I, I think the Panthers have freed up a bunch of cap space this offseason. So one thing that I really wanted to make sure that we brought up here was Michigan's basketball program. Okay, they are very, very good. I know you you follow basketball more than me. I understand, but uh, Michigan basketball. I want to explain something to the folks because. It's been well documented on uh, play by play Mitch on Twitch, on the blog, everywhere. Uh, Mitchie heartbreaks, all that stuff that my teams are terrible and they're either terrible or they're like kind of good and they lose in heartbreaking fashion. They never do anything. All right. So quick recap for you guys, Bengals, Bearcats, football and basketball, uh, Cincinnati Reds. Okay. Those are the main teams in Michigan Wolverines football, Michigan Wolverines football. Okay. So I'm from Cincinnati Dad's side of the family is from Michigan, and uh, my grandpa graduated from the University of Michigan. But for some odd reason, you know, you just have certain teams that you care about, or for you, one team, two, sorry, Jazz and Dolphins. Uh, but you have the teams you care about, and we just grew up really caring about Michigan football. And Great story. They're, you know, my dad's side of the family never really followed Michigan basketball. So I want to be on the record saying I'm not going to, you know, take credit as a fan. I'm not going to act like this is the same. It's just so ironic, isn't it? that for some reason we didn't like the basketball program. And in my lifetime, they are the only team that has even sniffed. They've been to the national championship twice. Now, granted, they lost both those games. Um, but, you know, th this team is phenomenal. They're, if you don't know, Anthony, they're number three in the country behind Baylor and Gonzaga. Um, but they're playing in the Big Ten, as we detailed in the last episode. Big Ten's got a lot of really good teams, uh, and they've only lost one game, and they are just hammering teams uh left and right so anyway very excited about any, any thoughts on michigan basketball yeah i mean i'm just a diehard basketball fan uh, at the pro level and at the college level i would argue college basketball is better than pro basketball one might one might argue that uh yeah i got a lot of thoughts mitchy but yeah you, know, you know i think they're pretty good that's that's all i gotta really say about that i think they're a pretty good basketball team i think they got a chance to go all the way this year thoughts commentary I already kind of gave my commentary. They have a seven yeah. footer, Hunter Dickinson. I bet this is right he can work inside out. They, is they this what it feels like to be on the other player. side of me yeah. on every show? Uh pretty much, yeah. But I mean, I, heard, I gave, I gave, yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? So look, I, I'm going to give you some more time to talk. I've been cutting you off. What, what do you, what would you like to talk about? We've already gone through uh, three topics that I, four topics now, if we include Deshaun Watson that I propose. So what do you got? Uh, uh, let's talk about, uh, what did you have for breakfast yesterday? Don't really eat breakfast, but it's funny that you did ask. We went to first watch because my sister was in town. Oh, well, what did you have yesterday? Let's talk about well, food. Let's talk about food. Yeah. I'm not hungry. What'd you have yesterday? Uh, pretty You're much. Not a sandwich kick. You're not a sandwich kick. Do you want to know? Do you want to shut up and know? Do you want to what I have for these? Do you want to sit on these and spin 180 degrees, bud? Huh? 
When it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's up. It's like that Cardi B song. Okay, you just, you just lost me. You just lost me. All right, I had a what's called a trifecta over at First Watch. Great place. Trying to go to the Wild Egg. Um, Wild Egg, awesome place. Awesome place. I think they, they have one in Lexington, Cincinnati, all over the place. Great place, but 45-minute wait because it's great. We go over to First Watch, get the trifecta. Uh, so uh, a little scrambled eggs, a waffle that was just absolutely amazing, and yeah. some bacon. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Had some coffee with it. And uh, that's it. Coffee. Um, you, coffee. One of my, this. Yeah. Huh? I was going to say with coffee, okay. are you a black coffee guy or are you like creamer, a little sugar? What's the color you like in the coffee? Yeah. So I used to be a big uh, cream and sugar guy. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, you know, I'm putting too much sugar in the stuff. I know that's not good for you. Right. So I started just going cream. Okay. And then I happen to read somewhere. It's actually the creamer that's, that's worse for you than the sugar. And I was like, all right, whatever. And then there's a, uh, a colleague of ours. We won't, we won't say his name. I don't think he's a big fan of the show. He's like seven feet tall, works for the same company as us. You work closely with him. He well, likes to heard, drink. I heard, I heard the next gen of Jen's organization. I don't, I don't know. What you're, I don't know. That's right. You don't answer to anybody. My, my mistake. Stupid. Uh, so he likes to drink coffee black. So I was like, ah, it sounds terrible. I tried it. It's grown on me. So that's how I do it. No, no cream or sugar. Oh yeah. That prick, that seven foot tall prick, right? Yeah. What a douchebag that guy is. Uh, yeah. Black coffee is kind of gross. Up. I don't like black coffee. Um, I like, uh, I, I, I cut the sugar out. You're right. I did do that, but I got this like white mocha, uh, it's like coffee creamer. I was going to say though, are you more, you kind of strike me as more of like a waffle. You go to a place called Trifecta. I mean, it just, I don't know why, but like, it just sounded like there was going to be some sort of waffle going on there. Are you like more of a waffle or a pancake kind of guy? We went to first watch. I think I might've said that four times. The trifecta. Uh, we went to trifecta. That's what, the, got that's the, what trifecta. the, I got the trifecta. I'm saying like a trifecta. Like, are you a waffle over a pancake? You know what really makes it for me? No, no, no. So the trifecta. Uh -huh. Would you like me to answer? Yeah, answer. Go ahead and answer. Okay, so the trifecta came with an option of a waffle or a pancake. I love both of them. Um, I happen to. I just happen to go waffle this time. So only one pancake or one waffle? Yeah, but they're they're pretty big. You go waffle. You have and yeah. bacon as well. Oh, you, gotta, you go. You go waffle every time in that scenario. You don't go one pancake. If you're going pancakes, you got to get two to three stacked. Yeah, 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 you can't. That was my. That was my thought. Uh, same exact line of thinking and the pancakes are massive so if i went with a different thing and got multiple pancakes it's like too much it's too much you know what makes a really really good breakfast in that scenario because you got scrambled eggs you got a waffle you got some bacon i tell you i play what a little bit of breakfast gravy oh that would have that that that's the kind of that, that's the cherry on top for it for a breakfast like that um yeah, i'd almost replace the bacon with hash brown are you a hash brown guy i'm a big hash brown guy i love hash brown you but, have dude, eggs that's and that's hash browns and ketchup no, nah, maybe dip. I, you know, I don't. Are you the kind of guy yeah, that, that catch up with that? I'm. Well, I mean, I'm not upset. I mean, there there are people that are like obsessed with ketchup, but like with a hash brown though, I'd I'd put maybe like a little bit of ketchup on the side, but I wouldn't slather. I wouldn't slather. Uh, our associate. Yeah, I'm okay. Party. I guess I'm I'm somewhere in between that. I'm not gonna like you know, douse it in ketchup, but it's kind it? of a dip thing. With fries though, do you cover your fries with ketchup? Like do you do the, the, the sprinkle or do, is it a dip, sit, pile of ketchup situation scenario? Well, the only time that I do this would do the sprinkle is like, a, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a situation like you're at like a, a game or a fair or something yeah. where it's like, you're holding the hot dog and the, and the thing and you can't like sit down and set up and then I'll just sprinkle it. and But then you get it on your hands and stuff too. I don't know. Like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll try to like finagle i'll move some of the fries to like one end and i'll 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 create like a little basin and i'll you know but that that's yeah i think people that like just glide or like that they're just fucking crazy people um because you have to like and even if you do what you're talking about which I, I i've tried to do that but usually i'll just give up because it's like if a if it's a good place they're gonna fill up the whole thing right um so you, it's, it's like, it's very difficult. You're gonna have to eat like 30 fries without any of the ketchup or just dribble. You know what I mean? To be able to create that, would you call it a basin? Yeah. I call it like a base. It's like, I don't know. It's like a pocket, like a pocket of ketchup, a basin of ketchup, you know, well, with this, while we're on the top of condiments, cause I want to talk about top shot. Cause I'm an official NBA owner now and I'm a bigger NBA fan than you are. Uh, I know you're not a big Mayo guy. You're not a big Mayo guy. The top three condiments. What are the condiments that make or break a meal, Mitchie? Come on, give give, give the fans the goods. um yeah go ahead and 
Go ahead and, and, and run me back through that one. I'm, I'm guessing maybe your internet's <laughs> not top notch considering it's okay. There we go. So it was no, 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 no. Internet's great. I, internet's great. I, you know, do you, okay, we'll, we'll spend 30 more seconds on this then. I got a text message that came across the screen. Okay. Uh, it was, we'll put it this way because you will probably get a kick out of it. I'm not going to fully, okay. We, we just had, there's just somebody that I was, was supposed to uh, interview and uh, you know, they, they said they have a required class at the, at that time, you know, so the interview is supposed to be in like an hour and it's like, Okay, so did that required class pop up over the weekend, or did you? So I'm sorry, I just saw that and I was like, I have to read fully what this idiot says. No, I won't be responding, guys. If you're going for a job interview, like just plan it out. Don't be an idiot. Oh my god, I'm on Facebook Marketplace trying to sell some stuff. The world is a. I mean, there are just some absolute idiots. I mean, when I try to confirm a time with somebody, like I'm like, how about 3:45 to this guy yesterday, and he's like like give or take a few minutes. I was like, can you just, have you ever had to be somewhere at a certain time? Like, and that's how like half the people are on this Facebook world. He's like, I'll try. Yeah, I'll do my best. 20 minutes before 345. He's like, it was raining. He's like, Hey, it's pretty nasty out. Like I'll still come if, if you need me to come today, but like, would you want to do tomorrow? I'm like, no, dude, we're doing today. Well, and then the kid I'm shows up, the guy shows up and is like, it, it, I had the th- I had a big TV for 75 bucks. Okay. It's, it's 60 inches. It still works. It's mounted. So yeah, part of the caveat is they have to be able to dismount it, but it comes with like a really nice mount that like you can push in or pull out and all that. 75 bucks is a good deal. He gets there and he's like, Oh man, this is really big. This is a little older than I thought. Would you take 40? I'm like, no, <laughs> that already no showed me too. And he's like, well, dude, I mean, I just, I hate to waste your time. I'm like, that's exactly what you were doing is wasting my time. Call me a smart ass stormed out. Him and his buddy were there. We're down South too, folks. So, uh, I got to look, you know, I wasn't like worried, worried, but I was like, I mean, you know, I don't really understand the line of thinking where, you know, showed me. And then I take more time out to come on my Sunday afternoon. And then you show up and say, Oh, it's not what I thought it was when you could have just asked me more questions on Facebook marketplace. Uh, and now you want to pay half the price. He's like, oh, then you're going to get smart with me. Oh, you're going to get smart with me, huh? Like, and I'm like, oh, God. I, That's this a, guy going to stab me. <laughs> he had a power drill in his hand and everything. I mean, I think like, <laughs> probably won't kill me, but maybe. Did you um, sell it? What did you do? Did you sell the TV for the discount price or did you keep it? No, he, he walked, he, he left. He left at that point. And, and part of the thing is like, it, it's really annoying, but it's also like, there are, I, I looked at Facebook Marketplace at, and there are, 15 more people that are interested. Now, a good portion of them are sending messages that my nephews would, wouldn't have been able to, or, or would have been able to write in like first grade, right? <laughs> like literally this person said, where live at was the, resp- was the response. I mean, and this guy that showed up, he was actually coherent somehow. And I like went out on a limb for him because he sent a few messages that were indecipherable. I, I was like, I just didn't respond. And then he followed up and was like, does this time work? I'm like, all right, I guess you can somewhat speak English. Um, anyway, he was not, by the way, he wasn't foreign. Okay. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. Oh, hey now, Mitchie. Hey, hey, you wouldn't have caught, your dumb ears wouldn't have caught that, but the fans were. No, but I know. So I, I wasn't saying no, that. He was a no, country I bumps out. I knew this guy was probably just some dumb white guy, you know, with a fucking power drill. I knew, I knew Isn't it so guy. funny how we... I know exactly. Yeah, he's, he, was some, he was some dumb white trash country bumpkin. That's totally fine to say, I feel like. <laughs> Can you, <laughs> anything that's not like, you know what I mean? I feel like that's okay to say. Yeah, people that are like categorized that way are going to get mad, but yeah, they're losing them. their voice. We don't need them. We don't need them. Well, anyways, that's what I was going back to, going back to that Zlatan thing. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was going to say before I got rudely cut off. I mean, I'm just trying to add value to the organization, trying to add value to the show, Mitchie. But no, like I wrote a blog the other day on this, Mitch. I wrote a blog the other day on this on uh, uh, how ESPN, the Checkdown, CBS Sports, NFL.com, like they come, they cater to the lowest common denominator. I, like a person can be smart, right? But people are dumb, and uh, that's uh, I don't really where I don't even know where I was going with that thought. I had a thought and I lost it, but. Uh, but yeah, most people who buy things on Facebook Marketplace are definitely going to be dummies and idiots. Uh, hey, anyways, Top Shot. Um, what's going on with Top Shot? Oh, I was going to circle back to wrap up the breakfast combo. Circle, circle. circle. You, I know. 
because I know you're going to appreciate me bringing this up. Uh, one of my sister's friends, <laughs> she's just a, she's just a funny, interesting cat. Okay. To say the least she, she orders. Okay. And every time she orders, we start with the drinks and then we go to the food. It's an adventure. Like everybody knows what they're getting at a nicer breakfast place. You're sitting there for 30 minutes looking at the menu. Then you sit down and then you're waiting 15 more. Like, come on, you can make up your mind. Come on. We all go around the world. She's last. Okay. For drinks, for drinks. And she goes, she said, uh, what, um, what, what diet or do you guys have Coke or Pepsi products? No, the Coke. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what diet products do you guys have? And she goes, she goes, ah, uh, I mean, I know we have, we have like Diet Coke, we have Coke Zero. I don't know if you'd really count that, right? And then she goes, um, could I add like cherry into it, like Diet Cherry? And she's like, I don't, I don't think really have cherries to, to be able to do that. And she's like, but I cannot make this. I, I, almost, I wasn't drinking any coffee, almost spit it out anyway. She said, okay, I'll just do apple juice. What? What She's like, so can I put cherries in the Coke? No. All right. Okay. I'll do apple juice. Like what? So that's where it started. Okay. And it was already funny. And then her, I couldn't even, so I, I was able to recollect that. I can't, I can't recount everything she said when she was ordering her food because it was wild. It took two and a half minutes. And that's a long time when you're just, when you're just ordering your food. Uh, I feel awkward going through and being like, oh, there's three choices. Um, okay. I want the eggs scrambled. Um, other choice. I want the waffle. I want the, right. And I'm like, oh my God, that took forever. I'm just trying to get out of here. Right. She took forever. She lands on, okay. A grilled cheese sandwich. She got a, a bowl of soup. And then she got these like, really good looking breakfast, like cheesy potatoes only because she was trying to order French fries. And that was what they had. They're like, we're a breakfast place. She gets grilled cheese, a soup. And I don't hate the soup necessarily. But like, what kind of combo is that in a breakfast place? Grilled cheese. Well, no, it's a great combo, but it's just a bad environment. Um, so I don't know. I, I guess like, it's like, I usually don't care about things like that. And I still like, at the end of the day, don't, you know, do whatever you want. She, by the way, ate like two bites of everything. <laughs> like, the entire thing. Wait, when, name a guy that does that, by the way. That's a fucking only a woman move. That is only a woman move. That's one thing I love about my girl, Cheska. So she, she doesn't you know no 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 now what she will do right it's not she's always gonna eat everything but like if she's done but there's like a good amount left box it up box it up conserve we'll eat it later i learned learned that from her big time um but yeah just having a big old plate and uh you know letting it letting it go to waste is and tough. i'm a believer that if you're if you're at a if you're at a restaurant and like you, you, I, if you're getting anything other than coffee or water you're a psycho you're a psycho. Why would you pay like $3.99 for a cup of lemonade, right? You fucking idiot. You stupid dummy. A Coke. If I get a Diet Coke, it's going to cost you a two sixty nine dollars on the receipt. And guess what? There's about seven cents worth of Diet Coke in that cup. It's mainly ice. It's, a, it's silly. It's a bunch of craziness, Mitchie. Water yeah. or coffee? Oh, I thought you were giving me an either. Yeah, no, I agree with you. That's, that's the route I went. You know, what's interesting on that note is my sister's other friend, learn that you pay for coffee uh at, at the restaurant now here's the deal so you said 3.99 for a lemonade whatever so the argument on the other end would be they just set coffee out and say would do you would you would you like it yes i kind of need it's like whatever you get charged for it um it was 3.29 to uh to have coffee we didn't get a, a refill or anything so it's like it's kind of the same the other thing i will say for a place like a first watch or Panera or, or somewhere like that is they do heavily advertise like those fruity drinks that taste really good. There's one I almost got like this new drink. They made it look unbelievable on this poster. I'm like, huh, that could be good. Uh, but I decided to go basic coffee at the end of the day. But I do agree. If you're at a breakfast place and you're like, here, uh, what do I want? Grilled cheese, French fries, soup, and a cherry diet cherry <laughs> and one of their friends that was in Cincinnati over an hour and a half away was like, oh, you're at first watch. Can you bring me a blah, 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 with no ice? And she's like, oh, no, 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 I, I would, but we're in Lexington. So like, we're like an hour and a half away. And she's like, no problem. Still bring it. No ice. This is the, fucking the craziest crazy. things happened at this breakfast, dude. Like, I'm like, yeah. who asked? Crazy. And they're not even like, they're not even like that. They're not even like best friends. Like, I would not ask my very best friend in the world, bring me something, bring me a drink. 
from an hour and a half away. Yeah, can you give me um, an iced mocha frappuccino uh, with light ice and drive it up to me for two hours? Go get your own damn mocha. You bitch. My goodness. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, dude? Like, ah. Oh. I'm so glad you brought up food. We didn't even talk because, it was, you know, usually it's pretty uneventful. In that that's front. why, you hey. know, I know what the fans want. It's just why I'm the founder, creator, and inventor. And uh, I, that's why I created this Next Gen Gen Sports Network. I'm the guy, you know. Um, I may not have created the internet, but I perfected it. So I know what the people want. But uh, there goes Mitch Stevens yet again. Wow, this guy just gives up. He's just a quitter. The guy's a quitter. Anyway, let's talk about Top Shot, Mitch. Let's talk about Top Shot. I'm an expert investor. I own Bitcoin, and now I own a layup from Boyan Bogdanovich and a layup from Mike Conley. Basically, can you tell me where to go to, to take a quick glimpse at this? You want to go to NBATopshot.com or something like that. Just Google NBA Top Shot. And I'll let you share your screen, too, if you want to pull that up. Yeah, yeah. Hang on one sec. But yeah, so I hear a lot of yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, just Google, just Google NBA Top Shot. But you got to set up an account. It's pretty easy. You just set up an account. But uh, you basically like. And I kind of look around it without setting up an account because I'm not like going to truly get into this. No, no. I did love like, I loved cards and collecting them and getting like everybody on the team. And like I had like thousands of, of baseball cards back in the day. Like I, I was obsessed with it. It's beyond me now that like adults literally will pay like 20 grand for like a Barry Bonds rookie card. And I bet that that's like grossly undervalued what I just said. I bet people would pay. I, I don't even want to know. Um, but here we go. NBA, okay. NBA top, top shop, shot. Uh, top shot, top shot. Um, Dude, a LeBron dunk sold yesterday for $208,000. One of these gifts. $208,000. But no, basically Top Shot, like they, uh, they're working with the NBA. They own the, uh, I think actually this company was like created by the NBA or something like that. And like the Players Association or something like that. And, and then there's this thing called Dapper, which I think is what you use to like make, like it's like the money transfer stuff. It's like all the finances, like my, this money goes everywhere in this thing. But yeah, basically you buy these packs, right? So you're, we're going back to the Call of Duty DLC fucking days, right? Or Webkins, where you have to buy the packs. Right, if you buy the packs, like they're they're all sold out. They're all sold out. If you buy the packs, and the packs come with these gifts, right? And some of them are rare, some of them are like common or whatever. But um, yeah, it's pretty sick. So some of them are like ninety nine bucks. Some of them are like uh, one nine bucks, whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's you buy the packs, but then go up to the top, go up to marketplace, um, or you know, go to packs. I'm curious. There's a bunch. There's a. Uh, there's Man, I got. I got some zoom screens in my way so trying to you want me to go to packs I go to packs because there's a bunch of packs i think i don't know but yeah there's all sorts i of got packs. all what the hell they're all sold out though they're all sold out right. check out all those packs. so look where can i click to see an actual pack uh, well they're all sold out i don't think you can see a pack all right just go to marketplace <laughs> go to market marketplace where all the cool stuff is so this is where people sell their gifts so uh, you can look for most, go to most valuable listings. That's crazy. Or, or type in jazz. I don't know. Look at this stuff though. Look at that. That guy's asking for 204. Now that's 13 grand. Uh, 240,000, 213,000. Now those are there's only three listings, but yeah, it's pretty sick. I think the cosmic series are like the super, super rare ones. But yeah. Basically like there's these gifts and I'm pretty sure it's a scam. Pretty sure uh, it's, this is all fake. But if people, I mean, people are going to pay for what people pay for what something they think something is worth. I don't fucking know. But um, yeah, it's pretty yeah. sick. You can like yeah. buy these. Uh, is, uh, I hate to be, you know, hate to be the Debbie Downer on this, but this really feels like the type of thing where it's just like rich people yes. go in there and, and trying to get richer and they're bored. Like there, there's no, you know, there's no like, it we're way beyond it and this is where and, and again to kind of reference big cat but the, i because i'm pretty sure he said that i don't listen to all kind, kinds of podcasts i can't keep it straight but i feel like i'm 100 in the boat of bitcoin dogecoin top shop any of the hot new things like by the time i have a slight grasp of what's going on psh, it's gone it's gone there's zero chance that i'm going to be able to like get in on it I have no real desire to, um, but this is, it's fascinating to me that 
And so when somebody owns this, let me get this straight. If yeah. you were to go back and watch a highlight of LeBron doing exactly what he's doing on this gift, it, and if you were it. to like it'll show you the highlight. somewhere, look, it'll show you the gift. Hey. So I don't, that's what I'm not getting. Okay. What is look, if I were to get this highlight and put it on my Instagram, when somebody owns it at, for 213 grand, what do I go to jail? He what? owns it. So I'm not allowed to do it. No, you own it. Watch this. You, no, 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 no. Bang! Yeah. I mean, he does that like once a game, dude. Look, anyway. So here's what I'm asking you. You're like, no, you own it. No, I don't. I don't own it. Somebody else does. I'm saying if I do not own this and I just like recorded this GIF on my phone and put it on Instagram, is that the point of owning it? So that I couldn't do that or that's illegal? Oh, no, okay. So no, I just you don't understand own. the value of owning no, you don't own it. You don't like own the clip. You don't own the NBA, right? Like it's all owned by the NBA. But like it's like this. Like you own like a tops baseball card or a tops football, like a tops football card of Joe Burrow, right? Tops made the card, right? And maybe he hand signed it. Maybe it's a jersey card or whatever, right? So, but the card holds as much value as someone's willing to pay for it, right? But I right. can take a fucking Joe Burrow card myself and sell it to you like it's not a real joe Bur it's 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 all bullshit it's all bullshit but people that's have to what i'm saying mitchy so but like you can't you can't just go out to your mailbox and go take a look at the joe burrow card that i have because it's a physical card and i'm like dude this is limited edition they don't make them anymore this is a video that's on the internet forever <laughs> like yeah, why do you I can't buy it i think it's mainly just so like people can tell their friends like well, think about it. Like, remember the first time you got like a jersey card out of a base, like out of a football card pack as a kid? You were like, guys, look at this shit. I have this. This is mine. It's the same thing. It's like, I, guys, I own that clip. I that's my clip. Like, the, I own a Boyan Bogdanovich lay left handed layup over a big tall black guy, right? Like, that's fucking sick. I don't know who any of the players were, but I know the guy did a layup. That's fucking dope. I own that. I'm an NBA owner. I, I do love him. I do love him. That's a great. That's a great pick. But. That's to see where the disconnect. And I know that you, I, I get what you're saying. It's just like, it's all, it's all BS. It's not like real, but like, and that's where I'm just like, it's not the same thing because it's a physical thing versus a virtual thing that anybody can have access to. You, well, no, I, I do. I agree with you that it's not the same thing, but people are making fucking money off of it. So who gives a shit? Right. And I will say this. I don't understand. I'm not going to begrudge it. I don't care. Do it. If you, if you have fun doing it too, yeah. whatever, yeah. whatever. I will, but I just, I just like, I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't know how Bitcoin works, but I do know I put like a couple thousand bucks in Bitcoin <laughs> and Bitcoin went fucking. I don't know anything about Bitcoin, but I do know Bitcoin goes up. That's all I fucking know, Mitchie. I don't know how blockchain works or what Ethereum is or what the fuck a chain link is. But guess what, baby? I know when I put money into Bitcoin, that money turns into more money. Boom. That's all I need to know as a, as a savvy investor. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of Bitcoin as you were trying to explain this. Um, yeah. And then it gets kind of more confusing as the more you hear Here's about the, it. Yo, stop yeah. asking questions. Stop thinking about it. Just take your hard-earned money and throw it at people that say that they uh, can do it stuff with it. You know, that's how, that's how, that's not, that's not a scam. Like that's how, that's a legitimate, that's how businesses work, you know? It, that actually, like as much as I know, the ha, ha but that actually is kind of how like, whatever, Charles Schwab, that's mm -hmm. who I have like, you know, legit retirement account with. They, it's kind of the same thing. It's like, here, give us your money. We're going to make it more, but we seem legit. <laughs> I mean, now, you know what I mean? There's, there's years and years versus, versus some of these things that are, are fads. But I will tell you, as a, a plug, you know, we don't like free advertising too much, but Dave Portnoy is just one, one hell of a guy. So the Dave Portnoy show, as much as I don't care to ask questions about everything, and I don't really care to get into the stock market, uh, listening to his interviews with people breaking down what happened with Robin Hood and all that stuff is very, very fascinating to me. I, I don't think I would, will ever get to the full point of understanding, but they, they do a good job of actually, like, I think Dave does a good job of breaking down things that in general, only the smartest people know, and they use all these, you know, convoluted phrases and terms, whatever, they, they get you all wrapped up in words you don't know. He breaks it down a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know. Have you heard those ones? I know I you're a big fan of that show. I watched part of the, um, I watched part of the, I was on YouTube the other day, just, it just popped up. I watched one of those, uh, that video he did with the Winklevoss twins or whatever, like they broke down, but if I watched, I don't, I didn't watch all of it, but like, I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 learned, I learned a couple things from that. I mean, I think that's a few years old, but 
I don't know, man. I, I understand the basics of, of, of Bitcoin. Like you've got fiat currency, paper currency is turning into an absolute shitter. Uh, so you need, you need hard assets and, you know, stuff like that. Like Bitcoin is going to be an alternative form of whatever, X, Y, and Z. But uh, yeah, I like Bitcoin. I like Bitcoin. I got money. But, and dude, Lenny, as dumb as that fucking guy is, Lenny's a fucking dumb idiot. Trust me. You and I both. The guy's the dumbest idiot that's ever lived. Probably out of all 8 billion people on our planet, Lenny's probably top 10 dumbest uh, in terms of just being dumb. But the kid owns like 15, has like 15 grand in his Bitcoin account, his uh, Coinbase account. No free advertising, Coinbase. But um, he, uh, he put a few grand in there. Uh, him and I do the same thing. We put, uh, 200 and, we put like 200 bucks and change bi-weekly, not bi-weekly, bi-monthly in there. And uh, yeah, the kid went, like, the kid's got like, he's got a, he's got a, nice little portfolio going for him there with, with, uh, with his coin base. So I don't know how the fuck it works, Mitchie, but it goes up. That's all I got to know. Put your money there. <sighs> to the point where I actually felt stupid. I felt stupid last a couple weeks ago because I just did my taxes. So I made a SEP mm. contribution to lower the taxable income. Shout out independent contractors, right? Um, and uh, uh, I funded my Roth for 2021. So I think all in all, I put I'm not going to say the number. It was about $11,000. But I put all of that into the SEP and into the Roth. I, I, to the point where I felt fucking stupid for doing that. That's a safe investment vehicle. My investments in my mutuals are up 44% on the year. I felt like a fucking dummy putting my money in those because I was like, fuck, I could have put that shit into Bitcoin. Like that, I'm getting into it, man. I'm, 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 I'm a Bitcoin guy now, Mitch. I'm a Bitcoin guy. Yeah, I just think you can't, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Mr. Fun Guy here for sure. I'm sure everybody's gonna love these insights, but you cannot like what you did. And I know you know this. And this is why you ultimately pulled the trigger on that 11 grand. Is you can't like I'm not saying that it's not going up. I've heard plenty of people. There's a kid I work with that's really into Bitcoin, just talking about how, you know, the the current. Uh, financial situation in our country doesn't make any sense and that it's ultimately going to, to uh, switch over to something that's more, you know, whatever. Bitcoin's on, on the forefront of the new, you know, currency and the way things are going, whatever. It seems like it's just going up and there's a lot of smart people that actually are, are in on it. You can't argue with like hundreds of years of you put it here, it stays safe and it will grow a little bit. True. Sure. Ooh. And then it'll just grow more and more and more because as Vlad on Dave Portnoy's show uh, explained to us, exponential growth, folks. Now, Vlad broke this down very nicely. He said it starts off small and then it gets bigger and bigger. Exponential growth. That is he that actually works. said that and like genuinely, he was saying all these words that made no sense trying to sound smart. And then he refers to the fact that what happened to Robin Hood was, you know, exponential growth and they didn't see it blowing up that quickly. And he's like, because you know, exponential growth, and then proceeded to. That's uh, one of those uh, double A, those uh, triple, double A ants or whatever. I will say this, Mitch, you what you got to do. I'm not a financial expert by any means, but you got to start buying some gambling stocks, dude. I've been buying uh, DraftKings and uh, Penn. Um, yep. As uh, gambling becomes legal in Penn, the United yeah. States, boom! Look at that. I've already made a, I've made a, I've made a quick grant. I'm up 20% of my gambling stocks, Mitchie. Got any hot news on that? Any commentary? Huh? Do I have any hot news on your gambling blogs? Yeah. No, I think you just gave it. Sounds like you're up a certain amount. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think really nice, dude. Really good. I, um, I appreciate that. I don't, yeah, man. I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's a cop out for sure. I'm just not, I'm not a big fan of the uh, volatility of the stock market. I just kind of lighten. I kind of like, I know that when you're younger, it's the time where you can be more risky, but I don't know. You're an old man. I sort of like the boring, I like the boring route. I like to bet on games and things like that, but not an exorbitant amount um, in proportion to what I have. Um, I'll lose, I'll lose a lot very quickly, but like <laughs> for me, like when it's in perspective of like gambling, if I bet like a hundred bucks on a game, I'm like, like that, that's a pretty big deal, which is small potatoes. Right. So Anyway, I, I like the safe routes more. Yeah, I like the safe routes. I don't like the volatility of the stock market or Bitcoin. I like to gamble my money on sports. You know, I like the safe route. <laughs> what? I mean, no sense. What are you, what are you, what are you the kind of guy that has I'm money? Saying, I, 
if money I'm saying, I do like I do like to gamble on sports here and there, but for the most part, I like the I like the safer route, which is why I also talked about how I don't really bet very much, right? Um, versus you who put, you know, you like have a what? You got twelve hundred bucks a year going into Bitcoin, like I don't know. All I do know this: all the money I'm making off Bitcoin and investments, pretty much are just taking care of gambling debts, past and present. So it's a, uh, uh, it's rough. Yeah, I shot. I'm not the greatest sports gambler of all time, Mitch. I'll tell you that much. However, I did nail a few. And when the NFL season comes around, boom, I'm going up. I'm going up, Mitchy. It only we only go up. So uh, you're gonna get sucked into the March Madness black hole. Oh, I'm not a big. I'm not a big college basketball guy. I'm, when is that? When is your fandom held you back from betting on the games? Good point. That is a solid point. I don't know enough about. Here's what I'm saying, Mitchy. I know. Obviously, I'm a lifelong. I'm a. I'm a lifelong fan of Dolphins and the Jazz. Meaning, if I bet on the Jazz, I know I'm going to win. If I bet on the Dolphins, I know I'm going to win. Every other other team besides NFL teams, I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Uh, if I bet on a fucking Atlanta Hawks, you know, I kind of. I've got an idea now as we've gone through the season a little bit more, but. I'm not a fucking expert, Mitch. I'm not a, I'm not a genioso. I'm not a, I'm not a college basketball guy per se. Uh, yeah, I was going to say just to the Atlanta Hawks will not be a part of March Madness. I'm just saying, I just picked a basketball team. I don't know. Like right. Wisconsin versus. My point is that it goes not good. Huh? It's the most fun. Like it's, there's a million games at once. Like the first couple of days, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's unpredictable. You can go with, you know, certain things that, you know, but you're also relying on a 19 year old to not just throw the ball out of bounds with 10 seconds to go. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible. Here's what I'm gonna say, Mitchie, West Virginia is going to win it all. I already put my money on, I put my money where my mouth is. I'll put, I'll tell you what, I'll put a buck. I'll put a buck. Oh. West Virginia is going to win it all. You want to take that bet? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take a buck that they won't win at all. Um, but no, think about Here's my, here would be the analogy since you're a big NBA guy. So you remember what happened to the 100 to one odds? Huh? No, you can bet a dollar straight up. You do anyway, no, I'm not going to bet uh, that. You have way better odds. I'm not going to, you know what? You're no fun. Mitchie, no funds. No funds, Mitch. You're the NFM. No fun, Mitchie. You're the new NFL, NFM. Yeah, let me just pick one team that if they win, I lose a hundred bucks. Yeah, it's a hundred to one. Like, you gonna win? Probably not. It's not a. There's no way it's a hundred one. You just made that up. There's no yeah, way. I did. No way. Anyway. Anyway, let me give you an analogy. Say, say more words. Say more words. As a natural born quitter, is you see that? That's the face. All right, let me give you an analogy for the excitement of college basketball. So, do you remember what happened to the Brooklyn Nets um, when, damn, who are they playing? The Wizards, like a couple of weeks ago, they were up by like something ridiculous. They were yeah. up by like, I don't know, seven with 20 seconds left or something like that. And then they lost. Do you remember that? Yeah, they wanted the, 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 steal the inbound three pointer, steal the inbound three pointer, whatever. Dude, yeah. that hap- that type of stuff happens all the time in college, especially in March Madness, there is, there are no rules. And there was a game, I can't remember the two teams. Um, I, I can't remember who it was, but there was a game for a uh, second round of the tournament, I believe a couple years ago, a team was down by literally like 11 with like a minute 20 to go. And they came back and tied and won in overtime. And they hit like a, you know, half court banked in buzzer beater to tie. So anyway, Anyway, I'm telling you, you'd have an absolute blast doing it. I might watch that. Uh, I know, I'll watch it. I'll, you're I'll, gonna I'll, tell me you're gonna wait for the NFL season to come back around? No, you know, no. I mean, I'll still put money here and there. I'll put money here and there. But I'm just like during the NFL, I'll probably have action. I'll have action every single week on multiple games because I know I, you know, I've, I've yeah. got my, uh, I've got my, my fingerprint. I've got my thumb on the pulse of the NFL. I know how that shit works. But NBA, you know, yeah. so I'm just, it's, I'm just not as frequent. Um, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. say, uh, I mean, you got it. It has been a pretty, pretty crappy episode overall, but yeah, some yeah. good stuff, some good answer in there. So anything else you got? After, this is the morning after. This isn't AQT with Mitchy Steve. Am I losing my mind? Am I losing my mind, Mitchy? We do one. The morning, the Monday episode is the morning after, and the Friday episode is AQT with Mitchy Steve. I don't understand this. We said we were going to change it and just make it AQT and just do it twice a week because so many people had the morning after and blah, blah, blah. 
You didn't tell me that. You're telling me that right now. You told me that. You're the one that makes all these decisions on phone calls that apparently you don't listen to me or yourself. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah. there you go, bub. There you go. Wait, what I know that the morning whatever... after the morning after is just going to be just NFL. Dude, NFL totally. season. I wrote this blog immediately after you or you sent down the order. Let's talk about the blog. Right the blog, dude. I've been I've been blogging my nuts off. I, I I wrote a hit piece on you the other day, by the way, because you were a hit piece on me. Uh, I'm a fight fire with fire kind of guy, eye for an eye kind of guy, Mitchie, huh? But uh, I've been writing blogs. Uh, I've been writing tons of blogs, man. I think I wrote uh, like four. Um, I'm a big blogger, big blog guy. Uh, I wrote a few on, uh, Oh, we did a fan spotlight. That was pretty cool. So that doesn't really count as a blog, but ba- shout out Bailey Stevens for being a fan. Uh, and tech and a friend of the show, a friend of the show. I you have to remind the fans at home. How, how does someone become a friend, an official friend of the show? Uh, you gotta be, you gotta buy a t-shirt. You gotta give us your money. Mitch. You gotta give us your money. This is an officially licensed, uh, t-shirt. And, uh, look at that. Look at that signature. Look at that signature from the Paisan. Friend of the show. What a sharp looking guy that is. Officially licensed. Give me your money. We're going to monetize friendship. All right. Uh, by the way, Mitch, you tell the fans. Now, about- another way you can support the show and become a friend of the show is go over to Fine Line Sports and join up with them. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to put the all the info into the show notes on, on uh, the YouTubes for Fine Line Sports and how you can get signed up there. So in that case, yes, you're, you're, you're giving the, uh, the show your money. But you have a chance to not only win it back, but to win more. And that's probably what I'd recommend most. Um, doing both, actually. Buy the shirt. Wear the shirt while you are watching yeah, your bets. On do both. Buy a t-shirt first. Also, folks, I did want to let you know that I put something in the Zoom chat. It's a direct quote from my blog. Anthony, if you can go to the direct quote from my blog, because not only did Anthony say during non-football season, we need to change it from the morning after, right? But he said, we're going to make an AQT with Mitchie Steves. He said, we're going to do it. Tw- we need to do it twice a week because we need more content. And he read the blog because I remember this exact quote. He's like, oh, juking and jiving. We're zigging zagging. If I knew funny. how to read, I would read it. So here's what it says, okay? You can expect two shows a week. Nah, 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 nah. I can't hear you. you. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, let me read it to the fans, Mitchie. Let me read it to the fans. Uh, the timing, you can expect two shows a week. One will be released. You can already see in his face. He's not going to read what it, what's in there. He's going to read what he wants. No, I'm reading it out loud. I'm, re- I'm reading it. You can expect two shows a week. One will be in, released on Mondays, typical airtime for the morning after, which should multiple scumbags try to steal from us. But whatever, we're flexible. We're juking and jiving. We're zigging with the zag. And we don't need a fucking name to keep the ship rocking. So that was a very long uh, fucking parentheses. But so we wrote the timing. You can expect two shows a week. One will be released on Mondays. That's basically what you wrote. Great sentence, bud. In parentheses, the typical airtime for the morning after. Yeah, because we're Wait. filming the morning after on Monday. That's why. That's what it's called. Yeah. This guy literally said we need a different name non-football season. Good point. We we probably should do that. Uh, all right. So just and I want you guys to understand part of this, of course, in full disclosure, behind the scenes look. Part of this is him just trying to get me going, which which usually works. Oh. But part of this is actually who this human being is. No, he actually like he, he makes decisions. I just, you know, like a, a good little sheep, you know, going along with the herd, just follow what the leader says. And then he comes back and he's like, who said that? It's like you, dude. I'm doing everything that you're asking me to do. Great. I'd make a great cult leader. Wouldn't you agree? I'm a charismatic guy. All right, I got moxie. Yeah, you do. What are you saying? Wrap this thing up. I think that's all. Any other uh, last thoughts here? Uh, not really. Uh, um, how are you doing? Great, man. How are you? I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. Um, see this, Mitchy? That's what you take every week. Just a big L on the show. I was trying to make a swastika out of these little strips of paper to be provocative, but then I thought I thought that I thought uh, it'd be better if I didn't do that. 
Just um, talk about it instead. Yeah, what, huh? Well, no, yeah. So that L was the beginning part of it. But then I realized I didn't have enough paper to do it. And also I was like, eh, maybe it's in bad taste. I don't know. Um, do you, you ever draw like, uh, you, ever, you ever draw like, you drew like wieners on paper and like wieners on like bathroom stalls as a kid, right? Same thing. Same thing. Um, but yeah. Other than that, Mitchie, uh, I'd say we say it every week. I think this might be our worst one yet. I think it actually might be though. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're coming at you hot, coming at you hot uh, on Friday, uh, Friday morning, right? Wait, we're gonna be in. Whoa, we're gonna be in Miami. We can do it live. That'd be that'll be sick. We can do it live. Okay. Oh, oh, quick update. So the fans know we're gonna be in Miami. We're gonna do an NFL style combine where I'm gonna whoop ass. I mean, just look at these fucking guns. I can't even fit into this shirt anymore. I'm so fucking ripped. I'm just so I'm so much mass. Fucking big. Um, we're gonna be doing a uh, wide receiver cornerback drills uh, on a football field with uh, yardage. Uh, do a pump pass kick maybe. Uh, pull ups. I'm not gonna do it on the beach. We'll do some uh, pull ups and stuff. Probably do like a beer chugging competition, a bunch of drunk shenanigans. But uh, we should probably film a show or two while we're down there. That is fair. That is fair. Film a show or two? Yeah, like I'm saying like the morning, the AQ, we should do an AQT with Mitchie Steves. We're, we said we wanted to do the, the, uh, the combine on Friday morning anyway for like a two hour window, right? We should probably just do a show, include that in that pocket, a window. That right? will be the show. But we're not talking about sports. That's different. The combine's a separate There's nothing event. to talk about anyway. Yeah, the, there's always stuff to talk about. We'll be in like a hotel room. Lenny can moderate. Lenny can moderate. That'd be funny. And then you and I, we can still, we can get our quips in. We can talk. We can riff. We love riffing. And then guess what? There won't be that fucking 0.59 second uh, lag in between responses. And like, I can actually cut you off properly. You can cut me off. Right? It'll be like, a, it'll be like Stephen A. Smith and skill. You know, it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah, well, to the folks that are listening, this it's in your guy wants me, in your contract, this, this guy wants me to take a hard-earned vacation and just make it entirely about work and making content. What we talked about is we're going to do one really fun thing for you guys, and then maybe we'll do a little pop-up, uh, you know, videos here and there, Instagram stories, a beer chug here and there. We're going to do one scheduled thing. We're not going to have the eighth QT. We do a combine. We're we not going to sit around for an hour during my vacation when I could be on the beach. Or I could be, you know, drinking a car. hour. We'll do 30 minutes. We'll do 30 minutes in a hotel room with Lenny moderating. That'd be fun. Oh, and then we'll dude. 30 Just minutes. sporadically as one, like throughout, we can talk during the competition. We'll do 30 minutes. And then guess what? Well, then we'll transition into the NFL combine. That'll be fun. We'll do like 30 minutes riffing and rafting. Lenny can be stupid. We'll be in our bathing suits. Hey, great show. Then we'll do the combine. Uh, and then boom. 30 minutes, 20 minutes. You can't do 20 minutes. You have your time blocked out for tw- to the fucking every 15 minute blocks for this vacation, Mitchie. What? Come on. No, I don't. That's my point. I don't have it blocked out because <laughs> I don't want to do. I don't want to block. That's what I do on my normal. Not days. a company man. He's not a company man. I'm here for the organization. The fans know that I'm here to build. I'm here to create content. I'm here to make people laugh. I'm here to entertain. This guy only cares about it. Hey, if nothing else, guys, this is all he cares about. So there will be plenty of content. I can't guarantee. I've said my piece. I've spoke to my words. I've said what I thought. I'll say my piece too. That's what I got to say about that. And if I had a fart, if I had one in the chamber right now, I would fart on camera. And I would, it would make like a fart sound, but I don't have one in the chamber right now. So. All right, good stuff. Symbolically, just know that I I was about to do that if I had one. Yep. So, oh, that Mitch, it's been real. It's been fun. Looking forward to Miami. We're going to get some surfing in, get some swimming in, beers, boys, football, hanging out by the beach, <laughs> hanging out by the pool. Uh, nonstop content. I think we're both on the same page. Anyways, Mitchie, uh, any ending commentary? You and I both know what I'm about to do. Any ending commentary as I mouse closer? Yeah, if you try to film me while yeah. I am doing something when I don't want to be filmed, he thinks I don't actually have something to say because he usually will cut off this recording. Yeah. But I'll just keep going. I'll just keep expanding the words as long as I need to, as long as he lets this go. But if he's trying to film me at the pool bar, when I'm hanging out, Cheskar, ha- you know, I'm having a good time. Yeah. Even if maybe I'm dancing a little bit. If I, <laughs> yeah. All I'm going to say to the fans is no means no. No means no. And if you really <laughs> say it out there, if you see something, say something. If this guy's in my face. No. Right, you're and a I'm like, no. 
I don't want it. And he continues and he posts that. Yeah. If there's any content posted with me saying, no, I don't want to be on camera right now, Anthony. <laughs> he's in big trouble. You all need to put no, him on. No, you're a salesperson. You know, no means maybe. You know that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record. I'm going to poke the bear. And then as soon as you're about to brawl, I'm going to give the phone to Lenny. And then we're just going to fucking fight each other. <laughs> and then we'll post that. It'll be good. It'll, we'll have fun, Mitchie. It'll be a fun trip. Uh, besides, I got more stuff to do. To, I don't want to be doing content all the time. I want to go fucking explore Miami. I want to go in the stadium. I want to do all sorts of cool stuff. I don't want to be doing stuff all the time. But 20 minutes to a talk show? Come on, man. Grow up. Uh... Other than that, uh, this is uh, the morning after.